So hey there fellow YouTubers, Frank Bush here again. So in the last video I did a detailed build out of exactly how I made this ultra efficient 12 volt stove. And in this video I'm just going to do a quick kind of update to that and its performance. So I literally just put two cups ice cold water out of the fridge onto the stove element. I'll cut back uh, when it's at a full boil and uh, I'll walk through kind of some of the full capacity of this stove element and, and how well it works. Of um, my plan is really to cook off uh, two cups of water, bring it to a full boil and show it at a full boil when it gets there. And then to uh, cook off an egg and do some grilled cheese sandwiches and those types of things using this technology to show you that uh, it truly is an effective cooking uh, unit, if you will. Okay, yeah. so we're at the 15 minute mark now. And uh, I'll just pop the lid off. I'm gonna show people half decent amount of steam. We'll take a temperature reading. 81.8, which is, uh, so 81 degrees Celsius, 177 Fahrenheit. So that's roughly about the same performance I was seeing last time. So I'm seeing consistent performance in that regard. Of, so either way, I'll just put the lid back on. And like I say, that started off as uh, two cups of water at fridge temperature 15 minutes ago. So I'll cut back uh, when we're at a full boil and tell you exactly how long that is and I'll show you that it will reach a full rolling boil, yeah? Okay, so I'm at the 28 minute mark now. I'll just, uh, forgot to put that, oh. Ooh, toasty. So, forgot to put that there. As you can see, at a full boil now. That was at 28 minutes. Put the temperature gauge on it. So 101, but 98, 92. It'll fluctuate, but as you can see, definitely reaching a full boil without issue. I know when I did this original video of the build, the sun was going down and stuff, so couldn't see the bubbles, but better lighting you can see. It reaches a full boil in half an hour pretty well, you know, 28 minutes, but I'll call it a half an hour just for, you know, reasonability sake. So I'll just let that sit on there for a second. That deals with my coffee. Like I say, that'll be too hot now to even drink, so I'll have to let that sit for a minute. And now, what I'll do is I'll cut angles and uh, start to uh, get some eggs cooking. I've got a little frying pan here where I've just thrown some cold butter into. And uh, I'll use this as the example. I just gotta grab a cloth. I spilled a bit of my coffee, but I'll, uh, I just wanted to dry out that pot. It's dried out now. Set that over on the uh, aerogel so it's fully dried. Do the same with the uh, lid let that dry off any of the moisture on it and stuff and uh i'll set that off to the side and let the let it sit on the aerogel over over to the side so i'm not worried about it burning anything but uh i won't put this frying pan on until i cut angles so let me just go grab a cloth to wipe up the bit of coffee i spilled and that kind of thing and like i say as you can see my coffee's you know 72 73 degrees it's enough to scald the mouth out of you, I'm sure of it. Yeah, that's that's just too hot for me to drink at this point in time. So I'll let that sit for a few minutes and that's fine. It fits with my whole brunch plan. But uh, I'll cut angles and come back. Alright, well, it's been about a minute or two. Which is fine. Just let the stove element, if you will, warm up. Now I'm just going to simply, make sure nothing on the bottom, just going to simply throw on my frying pan now because the stove top's already preheated and uh no oh, eyelash get rid of that and i'll go uh grab myself an egg and i'll cut scenes and come right back but either way you can see that the butter is starting to melt fairly rapidly now hopefully the camera's getting that all right now, it's not taking any length of time for the butter to kind of start to do the meltdown, if you will. God, I didn't get that eyelash. There we go. Either way, I'll let that butter melt and grab an egg. Yep, I'll come right back. Okay, so like I say, I just grabbed some eggs from the fridge. It's been about a minute or so. As you can see, the butter's fully melted. And uh, I'll just pop the yolk on that. And I'll let that sit for a minute right now. It's uh, 11.19 my time, 
I imagine this will be about five, maybe ten minutes top. So either way, I'll cut back when the egg is fully cooked and just show you and tell you how long that took. Yeah. Okay, so at this point in time, it's 11.24, so it's been, what, uh, five minutes, roughly? You can see the egg is coming along really well, and uh, it's already formed enough kind of body to it where it's definitely the better part of cooked. But I'm going to just flip it and uh, cook the other side to make sure that it's all kind of firm because it's going into a sandwich. So, but you can see that's, you know, what, five minutes of... And it's, uh, you know, bubbling away and all that kind of happiness. So it's cooking at a good temperature in that regard. Of, I'm pleased. I can see the edge of the egg lifting up periodically and all that happiness. So really, I'm just going to cook off this egg and then move it into a grilled cheese sandwich. As you can see, I've already got some sliced cheese and some buttered bread ready to go for the next stage. But uh, like I said, this is really just all to be an example of the performance of the stove and how useful it could truly be. And like I say, right now, as I mentioned in the full detail build out of this video, this thing's using anywhere from say 50 to 100 watts. You know, if there was no load on it and load in cooking food, if you will, if there was no load on it, it would be using closer to 50 watts. But as you put cool objects onto it and they absorb the heat, it's going to cause it to use a bit more energy. But um, typically speaking, you know, when it's, it first starts to run, it'll pull about 240 watts of power. And then once it comes up to temperature, it'll drop down. And with no load, it'll run about 50 watts. And when you put a load on, it'll run about 100. Still, from my lens, three times more efficient than I've seen any, any other stove element that exists on the market today. But uh, to me, that's good enough. This egg's pretty well ready to go. So I'm just going to slap on my butter, a buttered side of the bread down, put my egg on there. And I'll just set that there for a second. Pull off a bit of cheese. And uh, throw that on the top. And right now we're at 1127. So I'll cut back and kind of walk through the how fast that it'll grill this um, grilled cheese sandwich, if you will. Okay, so it's 1130 at this point in time. So it's been sitting on there for what? About three minutes or so. You know, not too long. But... Uh, I'll just flip it over here and as you can see nice and toasty of uh the temperature is definitely there enough to toast bread and all that kind of stuff so i'll let this cook off for another two or three minutes get that same level of toastiness on this side make sure the cheese melted and all that happiness but as you can see i was able to cook off you know to this holds two cups of water so I was able to cook off two cups of water from ice cold to a boil. I didn't even need to go that hot with the tappable water, but such is life. And was able to cook an egg and make this uh, um, toasted grilled egg and cheese sandwich in roughly about 45 minutes from start to finish. So, you know, it's not super fast, but it's definitely uh, at a reasonable enough speed where to me it's an acceptable reality knowing how little energy I'm actually using to cook the food. All right, well, it's been about another two or three minutes. And then like I say, yeah, it's still maybe another minute or so on that side. But as you can see, you know, within reason, the speed of a toaster, yeah, that might be good enough. But uh, either way, hot and toasty. Of, and to give you an example of, it's hot enough that that cheese on the inside is liquefied. Of, I'll see this as a cooked lunch, if you will. So one way or the other, there you have it but uh hopefully that gives a good example of the kind of level of performance that i can get out of the stove you know i'll just grab a cloth i'll unplug this let it cool down grab a cloth give the surface a wipe and i'm good to go so needless to say i hope you enjoyed this type of content if you do please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching yeah cheers